Hey guys, and welcome back to Follow Mid's Gen Update Survival Series. We'll be doing the Pyromaniac and the Crucible quest, leading to three power armor sets. The Hellfire, Enclave Hellfire, and the Raider power armor set, along with the fire resistant mods, and the legendary Heavy Incinerator and Napalmers. I'll be showing additional points of interest as well. Don't forget to comment, like and subscribe if you're enjoying the series. As with the other Gen Update Creation Club quests, these are available as soon as you escape Vault 111. The quest says that a murderous member of the Forge has been terrorizing the Commonwealth in a suit of Hellfire power armor. We need to find them and take them down. You need to come well prepared for this encounter. Pyro is wearing a fully upgraded Hellfire power armor set, equipped with a heavy flamer and accompanied by two Forge members. Considering this location is further east, the surrounding areas also have higher level enemies as well. So I suggest coming here after level 30 on survival mode. The area is wide open and you can easily land some sneak attacks or run away when they fail. You can try shooting the fusion core and ejecting pyro out of the power armor too. In doing so, all the pieces will be marked as stolen. To fix the stolen tag to owned, you can sell them to a vendor, close the dialog, then open trade and buy them back. You can also reverse pickpocket a settler, then trade with them to get them back. This one is tricky since you'd need to invest some points on the pit pocket perk. Anyways, I'm making this look easy, but that's just because this character is level 161 right now. Nearby is this log settlement. If you've already claimed it, this is the perfect place to save your progress. The Crucible quest marker tells us to go to Saga's Ironworks just south from this log. The quest tells us to investigate the area for useful materials. This is another high level dungeon filled with forged members, welding, flamer weapons and molotovs. If you haven't claimed Finch Farm as your settlement, you ought to visit them to get their quest that leads into this place to find their son Jake. You will come across a weapon and armor warbench, so loot everything you can get your hands on to break it down into useful materials, especially if you have the scrapper perk. We can make use of the new power armor we got from Pyro since there's a power armor station and an additional raider power armor set. To make things easier, you can also aggro these forged raiders back to this log and have the settlers and defenses take care of them. Don't worry too much about the ones on the roof. You can gain roof access after killing Slag, the leader of the Forge Raiders. Make a ride into this trailer to grab some valuable pre-war foods and nuka colas. And now we're ready to go inside. There are several Forge Raiders here so try your best to sneak and take them down one at a time. Otherwise they will aggro and attack all at once. A random Forge Raider on either side of the dungeon will have the Forge Keeper's note. The quest marker will help finding them. The note says they found a heavy incinerator off the bodies of Enclave Remnants. Slag, the leader of the Forge, says something this special requires a trial of walking through molten metal to obtain it. Most new recruits don't have the nerve to walk on fire, let alone survive it. Someone did try to cheat and the evidence was put inside a toolbox by the terminals and the key is stashed in one of the cans above it. So we'll follow the staircase into this area. You can open this advanced lock door for easy access to the terminals on the other side. Otherwise we'll have to go around up the staircase and through the makeshift bridge. We'll find a bottle of whiskey purify water and some jet under the hanging brahmin. There are more raiders on the other side so try your best to sneak. We'll follow the quest marker onto this room with all the workbenches. Loot the cans above the marked toolbox to get the keys to open as it said on the node. Or you will need expert lockpicking to open it. 
the toolbox will have the Forge Recruits note and the Smelter console password to access the terminal. The note reads that the new trial Slack came up with is impossible. They've sent in new recruits to walk through the molten metal to watch their feet melt off the ankles for amusement. They have rigged a power armor to resist extreme temperatures with some leg armor pieces and they buried these mods under one of the crucibles. In order to get to them, we have to shut off the molten drip, then use the terminal to move the container down the track. Although we can access the terminal now, we cannot move the crucible until we turn off the flow of the molten metal. So go down the staircase and kill any remaining forge raiders. Follow the quest marker to the button and press it. We can now go back to the terminal and move the crucible. Loot the dirt mount to get the flame resistant mods and the raider power armor leg pieces. There's additional junk with craftable materials, and by the power armor workbench we can find a large toolbox with more craftable materials to create flame resistant mods. You shouldn't have to craft them since we just picked up the mods from the dirt mount. We'll go ahead and equip the legs onto the power armor and add the flame resistant mods to both legs. We can now walk through the molten metal and pick the legendary Ghoul Slayer's Heavy Incinerator. And that completes the Crucible quest. You can use this opportunity to face Slag and decide whether to kill Jake from Finch Farm Settlement or save him to then claim Finch Farm as your settlement. Either way, he does have a holotape in his inventory if you want to collect it. Once you've killed all the Forge Raiders, you can loot Slag's corpse to get the Shish Kebab, the Saga's Roof Key, and additional Raider Armor pieces. Head up the staircase to get the Explosive Bubblehead, a Steamer Trunk, and the Picket Fence Issue Number 3 Essential Upgrades Magazine, allowing you to build statues in your settlements. Find a bed or a sleeping bag to save your progress here. If you haven't been ambushed by Enclave Remnants when we completed the Speak of the Devil quest in our last episode, you may be ambushed right after leaving this place. Be well prepared and have one of your power armor sets fully repaired for this encounter. The ambush consists of a trooper equipped with fully upgraded Enclave Hellfire power armor and two soldiers. Kill them and loot the Hellfire trooper's corpse to get the soldier's orders to eliminate you. This will lead us to an enclave campsite which we will explore in the next episode. So far we've collected 3 power armor sets. You may have to do several runs to bring these back to your main base since we don't have fast travel. These power armor sets and paint jobs look amazing. And the stats are comparable to fully upgraded T60 power armors. My all-time favorite design has been the XO2 power armor sets, modified with Tesla coils, the Devil's Inferno mod, and the red paint to increase movement speed. As always, I hope you guys found the video helpful. Thanks for watching, I'll see you all on the next one.